Good morning my friends, welcome on my YouTube channel. I'm going to start to rebuild two CX500 engines. This one and this one are painted. It. Before that I have sandblasted it and when I something sandblast I will uh, protect all the threads. That's what I'm first going to do. Remove all the nuts and bolts out of the engine and clean out the engine. I have made special uh, short bolts and still sand is coming in. Look there's a lot of dust, dirt going in the thread and I want to have that clean. What I have done is um, I used the cylinder head bolts, I have plenty of them. Cut them off and welded a nut on them so I can uh, tie them up and remove them easily. A little bit too short, so maybe I have to look how much sand is coming out there. And now I know this thread will be a problem because there is sand in it or dust, debris, whatever you like to call it. You see, don't throw it away because I know I'm going to reuse it. Um, today I'm going to clean out those engines. I want to uh, clean out, or clean the surfaces, take all the bolts and nuts out. And uh, I show you how to clean off this uh, area and all the areas because uh, when this engine is ready, it won't drip oil. This taking uh, some time. Get all the bolts and nuts out. So. When you sandblast this engine, you also sandblast a little bit the inside. Don't worry about that, but when you're going to reinstall the engine parts, you have to clean out everything very well. Uh, I did use spray paint, primer, a color paint and clear coat. Yes, it's also getting inside the engine. Don't worry about that. It won't dissolve in oil. So that's not the problem. I get some. Uh, I get uh, questions about uh, what's happening with the paint inside the engine. Don't worry about that. If you paint it, please paint less as possible inside the engine. That's. This is the best way to do it. You see, this surface is not clean. There is paint on it, but inside also. I'm going to sandpaper it off, grind it off with sandpaper. All the bolts are not so out. This one has to stick there. Look to the other side. When you have sandblasted it, you always find sand inside your engine. <laughs> Don't worry about that. You will find it. It's like hell for your engine. And um, you have to clean it out. Every step you do, you have to clean it out. So, even when you have installed all the engine parts, you have to clean it out. 
how do you do that? Simple. When everything is installed, crankshaft, gearbox, oil pump, you will find sand in your engine. The first 5 to 10 minutes, let the engine run by clean oil, new oil, maybe even used oil of an out another engine. That's not a problem, but leave it idling, turning, pumping oil inside the engine and then you get the oil out. So five, five minutes and you change the oil. Do that three times and every time you do that you check your oil filter if you find particles. I can tell you, you will find particles. That's not what you want. Okay, that bolt, yes, is coming out. So, now I have two engines. Something tells me. I have two engines ready for uh, preparing uh, to install everything. No, not yet, because something is there. I thought I was ready. The oil nozzle to the cylinder head, the oil restrictor, uh, whatever you call it, there, I left it in with sandblasting. It was not smart, smart to do that, because now it is painted too. It's not smart to do. When I sandblast the engine, this holes, I prefer to have them open so I can clean them out with air. That's what I'm going to do after grinding the surfaces off. I will get the most dirt off with sand, of, uh, with air gun. But now I have to replace the oil restrictor and I can't get it out. So I use a wooden screw, simple, and I need a screwdriver. That's very important to check it out because uh, it's, it's loose already. Yeah, you have seen? Look at the dirt. I think I throw this oil restrictor away. But now you know, there's dirt inside. Also there. So, this engine has two uh, nozzles, uh, oil restrictors too. So I do the same way here. Oh, this one takes, yes, and you will find dust too, that's too much, way too much. And there. Yes, it's turning around, you pull them out like that, it's ready. It's a very cheap tool, you can buy them everywhere. So, let me explain a little bit more. Those two engines are going to be built. Even a third engine I'm working on, it's standing there beside me. I have to still have to take it apart. When I sandblast, you will sandblast this surface too. Don't worry about that. The bearing is still inside. Don't worry about that. But I prefer not to sandblast it. It can have a little bit. How strange it sounds when I say this. But this bearing is very strong. If you don't sandblast them, you only have to clean them out. That we do do later on. But don't worry, I never protect them with sandblasting. I even sandblast here and always here. Not directly, directly on it, but don't worry. If you don't hit them directly with sand, it's not a big deal or a problem. So everything is uh, dry out, paint is ready. Oh, there's still a bolt inside. Oh, let me show you something. Uh, I think there are made about six or ten different engines, but you never know. But one of the things is there are holes here and they don't thread it. Oh. And this one has two holes threaded. And I also see difference sometimes. In this area, they have changed a lot, but I think those two are the same. 
those two are the same. So I can spot a little difference between those engines and um, this is an original CX500 engine I think and this one I have repaired from a later CX500 maybe a GL500 or a Eurosport engine and I'm going to restore it back to an old CX500 engine. I will explain you later because some parts has to be changed and also this thread here is changed so I can put an old adjustment bolt for the tensioner inside this engine. So thanks for watching this movie. The next movie I will take you with me with cleaning those services and I explain how to do that. Thanks for watching and uh, when you have a problem please email me. Goodbye!